Hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome to Ergonomic Fitness on IC Digital. Today we're doing a 30 second, no, 30 minute, um, 30 minute core workout. 16 exercises, two sets with a 30 second break in between. All you need is a chair or when you're in the gym you can use a workout bench or when you're in the park you use a park bench. You're ready, I'm ready, let's go. So we have 40 seconds until we start exercising. When we do, while we're doing this uh, core workout, I want you to work out as precise as possible. So each exercise should be done slowly and as correct as possible. Um, we have 30 seconds in between each exercise, so we have enough time um, so I can explain everything you need to know and then we start with the next exercise. So 15 seconds until we, um, 10 seconds until we get going. Grab a chair, grab some water. And then we start with the first exercise. I want you to do a plank on the chair. Put your um, toes down. Keep the back of your head. Head to the shoulders. Head and hips are in line and you lift up your knees. Chin is slightly tucked in. If you have a mirror um, around, try to do this um, workout with um, next to a mirror where you can observe yourself to make sure to keep your so that your back is completely straight. Chin is tucked in, elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Relax. Rest for 10 seconds and then you do the same exercise again. So knees are right underneath your hips. Chin is slightly tucked in, back of your head, Relax. shoulders and your knees and your hips are in line. Hold this position. You can slightly bring your knees down and straighten your knees without arching in your back. Should have the 
same distance to the floor. No rotation in your hips. Keep your lower back neutral. Relax. Then on your back, legs are resting on the chair. And I would like you to keep a 90 degree angle here. You come all the way up, bring your hips down and exhale as you move your hips up. Try to keep almost like a um, straight line from your knees, hips to your shoulders. Rep one, then you're one. just slightly touching the floor. We 
we have five seconds to go. Third last. Kneeling again. Similar exercise to what we did before. You are kneeling, have one leg straight, touching the chair, keep a 90 degree angle in your knees. Right arm is up here. Slightly touch. Bring your knee down underneath your, your stomach. Push against your knee, bring it back, hold it for a second, just tap, and then back down here. Keep 50% weight on each. One and one. Um, 50% weight on your hand, 50% weight on your leg. No hip rotation. Draw your navel in, keep your lower back neutral. Chin is slightly tucked in. Starting here, I would like you to slightly bend your knee, move your knee up towards your uh, towards your center. Keep your knee slightly bent. Bring it back. Bring it back. Rep one and one. Keep your heel, your knee, and your hip in line. Your knee should be facing straight forward. Sideways. Relax. I'm going to move the chair to the side. Rep one yeah. one. You can do it this way too. Leg is just tapping. Five seconds left. Good. Relax. We're doing a plank on your hands. Both feet are on the chair. And I would like you to tap one leg down to the floor and up. So if this is too difficult, you can just do a plank in this position. Make sure you draw your navel and keep your spine neutral. Check yourself in the mirror. Keep your elbows slightly bent and your, your wrists underneath your shoulders. One and one. Hold this position and then tap. Relax. Rest. And then other side. 
raise our hips. About to keep a 90 degree angle in your, in your knees. And then we're tapping down with one leg. chair moves too much, you can push it against the wall.
10 seconds left. Doing a backwards step. Both legs are resting on the chair. This position. Just hold this position. You can either have your hands slightly facing toward the side or forward. We have 
10 seconds to go. Hips up. Relax. Okay. Um. Lay on your side, have your key, so you grab your foot and pull your leg towards your hips. 20 seconds. Switch sides. Make sure when you pull your leg back, you draw your navel in. Don't hyperextend in your back. And do one more stretch for your hamstrings and to stretch out your back. We, we will be using the chair. Come up. Shift your weight towards your heels. Workout finished. Try to lean as forward back as possible. Your back should be straight. Okay, so now we're done. I hope you enjoyed the workout. For questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And um, don't forget to subscribe, and I see you next time. Bye bye.